Hello and welcome. In this short video, we're going to be looking at how to monitor zones on the SPC system. This is key as it allows you to ensure that the wiring is correct and the system is configured correctly. We will show you how to monitor zones, how to check the status of zones and what these statuses mean. And as a system overview, we will look at how to look for any open zones on the system. First, let's look at how to perform a walk test on the SPC system. Walk test allows you to test that each zone is working operationally. As each zone operates, it will reduce the walk test count. When all zones are tested, it will say walk test complete. In order to access, we log into the keypad and can access this through the user, soft engineer, or full engineer menu. You may observe that the number of zones available to test may vary by these menus. This is because alarm zones will not be tested when they are meant to trigger an alarm. So 24 hour alarm zones will not activate in the walk test mode. So to access this, we access the menu and we enter full engineer mode. We scroll down to the menu test. We select the menu and select walk test. On multi-area systems, you must now select the area you wish to test. We select area one where we have two zones to test. When we activate the first zone, the number will reduce, signaling that we have one more zone to test. When all zones are tested, the keypad will signal the test is complete. For your convenience, there is a number of options available for walk test. You can edit these by selecting the audible options in the keypad. These options are internal bell, external bell, and keypad. These are to give an indication when a zone is walk test. By activating the internal and external bell, that means each time a zone is walk test, the internal and external bell will activate. Next, we will look at the zone monitor function. We select a zone monitor. This will display a list of zones. The zone monitor will allow you to monitor the status of an individual zone in real time, showing information about its status, resistance, and information about the zone. If you wish, you may also type the zone number of the zone in order to select it quickly. Here we select zone 8, and we can see the zone is closed. In order to use the tool, we can select any zone on the system. The zone overview will display the status of the zone and its location. This zone is located on controller 1. If the zone is located on an expander, this will also be displayed. We can see here that the zone state is closed. When the zone changes state, this will update. We can also see the live resistance of the zone. And this can be useful for determining if the wrong end of line has been selected. Now let's look at some of the different states. State closed is the normal state for a zone, and it is in its rest state. When a zone is open, it is in its active state, and the zone, if armed, would cause an alarm. The discount state is in its disconnected state. The input is reading an infinite resistance. Now in this case, the wire may have come disconnected, so we advise checking the wiring. State short. In this state, the zone is in a short state. The input is reading zero resistance. The wire may have been come shorted at the expander or detector end, so please check the wiring. Note a discon or a short will trigger a tamper condition on the SPC system. State DC substitution. The SPC pulses the input to ensure the detector is not being interfered with. When an input is a DC substitution, the zone is being interfered with and replaced with a DC source. Please check the wiring of the zone to identify this interference. Zone state and mast. The detector is signaling a mast condition. 
This means the detector cannot monitor the situation correctly, and this must be addressed. Check for objects in front of the detector and remove them in order to reset the mask condition. Zone state fault. Certain detectors will run internal tests and can signal a fault condition. This is not a wiring condition. This is an internal fault with the detector. Zone state out of balance. The detector input is expected to be within a certain tolerance of the configured end of line value. If the resistance detected is not within this tolerance, the system will signal out of bounds. Please check the end of line configured. And also, if you perceive this value to be correct, you may switch the system to use wide range end of line. Zone state unstable. When monitoring a detector, the system expects the input to maintain a consistent value. An inconsistent value may cause false reads and may lead to a false alarm. This may be interference on the wiring. Check for high current mains near the cable or any other interference sources. Finally, let's look at how to monitor for any open zones on the system. We can do this from soft or full engineer. We can select system status and select open zones. This will show all open zones in the system and zones can be isolated by pushing the hash key. You can scroll up and down using the up and down key. In summary, walk test provides a method to ensure detectors are operational. Detectors on the system can be individually monitored and zone state and resistance can be monitored in real time. We hope this helps you with your installation of SPC systems and can improve the system quality and performance for end customers. Thank you for watching and goodbye.